What's up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of FTB Unleashed, and we're going to be taking a look at Pippin's entry today. I did take a quick second to make sure it loaded, and it loaded pretty good. As you can see, we are off here in the distance, and there it is. We'll go ahead and fly up on it. I like the use of the... Wow, dude. Wow. That looks... Did he build that off in the distance? That's amazing. This looks this looks pretty badass. This looks pretty badass. I like the way it juts out into the water like that. This is this is pretty solid. Okay, I have to I have to check this thing over here. Did he build this as well? Or he or she, I don't know. Pippin could be a Pippin could be a guy's name, you know? Could be a girl's name. I think this is auto generated by one of the mods, so I'm, I'm not going... No, it's got a smokestack. What? I are confuzzled now. I am very confuzzled. Alright, we're, we're just... We're not going to judge this part. It's got a smokestack. Obviously, it's there for something. I'm not quite sure what it's there for. We're going to come back and judge the base. I think this is a really cool looking base, though. Smokestacks are some of the biggest... We've seen height-wise, but unlike some of the others, they fit. And from the front of this base, I have to say, this is probably in the top three for just cosmetics. It looks absolutely amazing. So this is where the beacon's at. We're going to come in from this angle. This may not be the right spot, but it's where the beacon's at, so I'm going to assume. Why are there holes in the base? Why there be holes in my base? I don't understand why there's holes. Why are there holes? I'm very scared. Alright, I'm thinking maybe those were for redstone lamps. I'm not entirely sure. Plenty of room for the six boilers that we want. Very nice and wide open. Plenty of lamps in the top to keep everything lit. You can see there's plenty of room to set all the stuff up. We've got plenty of entrances and exits. That goes down. Got to shut this door. It's going to drive me crazy otherwise. Um, this heads up on the roof. Nice, solid looking roof. I, I do like those smokestacks. Smokestacks are nice. Uh, looks like we've got some nice passageways here so that we can move. Oh, it's a dead end. Sad face. Sad face. Uh, what do we have over here? What's it? This is kind of like a front foyer area. Interesting. Both of those head outside. This goes back downstairs. I like I like the staircase here. It's really hard to pull these kinds of staircases off because they they have a tendency to look funky as you build them. But I think they pulled this one off okay. Looks pretty solid. Uh, let's check downstairs. I think we've got downstairs right here. Um, all the redstone wiring. I guess this is for all of the um, the lamps that we've got. There's probably a switch around here somewhere. Floor lighting mess. There may be a switch around here somewhere that turns all these off and on. I've probably missed it. Let's head back over here. Still, nice job. It looks like it's actually set up to be functional, which is kind of cool. Oh! Oh, this is cool. I like this. This is uh, a nice little underground room. Some more holes. I'm not quite sure what's with the holes. I don't understand. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here's the floor lights. Bam. Nice. All right, let's, let's, let's make it nighttime. Okay, it's dark. Well... There's lights up top, but bam. Very cool. It's also got that um, that office type feel to it. If you've ever been in a really large office and you flip a switch and you see all the lights come on across the whole building, they kind of delay. I kind of uh, I kind of like that. Kind of an interesting uh, setup for for that. Now, what do we have here? Whoops! There's an unopenable door. So I'm, of course, going to kick the door down because that's just how I roll. And I guess this is to the underground mining station? 
maybe? Interesting. Interesting setup. So it's it's kind of an interesting base. I really like the aesthetic look from the outside. Um, inside it's a bit big. Uh, and it also feels... There's some really weird holes that are throughout the place. And I don't quite understand why there's holes. Uh, that, that seems to be a bit odd. Other than that, it definitely serves the purpose that it does. I will say it is one of the prettier looking structures from the outside. My only issue is the inside is a little funky. Like the door that goes to nowhere, etc, etc. So I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking possibly a better use of this place would be that bottom room that we showed. Put the boilers there. And then leave this top room maybe more for uh, general machine storage and things like that. But it, uh, it's definitely an interesting uh, interesting setup. Is that, is that more missing? No. No, never mind. It's good. It's good. So let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, for those of you guys watching on YouTube, did you like the base? Do you not like the base? What parts do you like? What parts do you hate? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, if you're watching this and you liked it, make sure you slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.